ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೆಲ್ಟ್ ಡ್ರೈವ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ದ ಗೇರ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಮಾಡೋ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಂಟ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬೆಲ್ಟ್ ಡ್ರೈವ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬೆಲ್ಟ್ ಡ್ರೈವ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದ ರೊಟೇಷ್ನಲ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟೆಡ್ from one mechanical element to the another uh, with the help of certain systems known as transmission systems means uh, uh, generally we see that uh, the whatever the uh, motion we are transmitting it is rotational so that the rotational motion which we are going to transmit by using some means of uh, tra- system okay that is called as a transmission system these systems may be employed to drive directly by a prime movers transmitting the rotatory motion to various parts of the machine within itself uh, the whatever the power generating such as motor so motor is a prime mover so for, from where the rotation energy is going to be generated so that prime mover used to transmit the rotational energy from one point to another one of them is a driver it is called as a driving system and other one is a driven it is called as a driven system means the driver is nothing but the system which is connected to the source or prime mover so that is called as a driver and the driven system it is nothing but the system which is connected to the receiving device okay so by that the process of driver and driven process is going to be takes place in here usually round rods called shafts are employed to transmit the rotational motion usually you see the it is the, the round shafts are the main re- Uh, axi- axial elements where we are going to consider it for the transmission of power the transmission systems are classified depending upon uh, distance between them speed and power okay what is the distance minimum distance maximum distance and uh, various speeds and what are the amount of power transmission with respect to that we are going to classify the different uh, transmission systems so one is belt drive so mainly the belt drives are mainly used for the distance power transmission uh, you have seen uh, in this type of belt drives uh, in many applications such as uh, in uh, automobiles uh, in uh, some uh, milling uh, milling industries okay so and uh, many small uh, power generating devices also using the belt drives the rope drives the rope drives are mainly used in the power lifting applications okay chain drives you can see the chain drives in many bicycles vehicles automobiles gear drives okay gear drives is a main element where uh, we are using that power transmission in the automobiles so using this gear drives in many machines also the gear drives are going to be used so first we discuss regarding the belt drives okay so what is this belt drive so in here we will see the what is the construction of belt drives actually the belt drive is nothing but it's a flexible element which is used to transmit the power from one point to the another point okay so from this point to this point the power transmission should be taken so for that we are using on flexible element so that is called as a belt okay this is a flexible element which we are using so that is called as a belt so this is a center shaft where uh, the belt drive uh, where we can see on this shafts we are having one pulley okay this is called as a driving pulley so driving pulley is connected to the source element or motor element prime mover so where the power generation or rotational energy is going to be generated and this is another type of pulley which is called as a driven pulley it is circular and it is connected to the driven shaft okay so driven shaft is also similar to the driving pulley uh, so driven driving driven pulley is similar to the driving pulley but uh, it is having the diametrical variations okay and uh, on the periphery of this sort of the uh, pulley so which is uh, uh, covered by the help of this flexible element that is called as a belt okay this uh, belt which is ca- encircling the complete so you can see the belt is moving from here to here so it is moving and it is creating the uh, belt okay so like with the help of this uh, the whatever the uh, rotation energy is going to be transmitted okay okay so you can also see one uh, endless this is called as endless belt 
this is slack side and this is a tight side so bottom side always we call it as a tight side and our top side of the belt is called as a slack side why because it in here because of the weight of the belt this slagging happens in here because the higher tension the tight uh, tightening of the belt takes place to the bottom so that's why it is called as a tight side belt dry is one of the common method generally employed uh, whenever the power is to be transmitted between two parallel shafts shown in the figure uh, belt dry it consisting of two pulleys over which the one is endless belt is passed encircling both of them the mechanical power rotatory motion is transmitted from driving pulley to the driven pulley because of the frictional grip uh, that the existing between the belt and the pulley surface the obviously for the belt to move the tension on the one side of the belt should be move the other side means what happens uh, in here in the belt drive so we are mainly considering with the frictional grip okay the belt are mainly transmitting the power with the frictions because the belt surface and the pulley surface should be connected with the help of friction between them so with that only the power transmission takes place so the better friction will results in better transmission of the power okay next the portion of belt which is having less tension is called as slack side means there is a less tension we can call, call it as that topper section it is called as the slack side the other side has a higher tension it is called as the tight side the effective pulley power of the belt that causes the rotation of the driving pulley is the difference in tension on slack and tight side okay so with the difference in tensions on both tight side and slack side is going to be the one of the cause for rotation of the driving pulley driven pulley sorry figure shows the driving pulley is rotating in a clockwise direction the lower side of the belt will be tight side the upper side will be slack side since the tension is tight side the slack side of the belt depends upon the angle of contact so the belt drive had to be arranged such that the slack side comes above the tight side and comes below the pulley sometimes the belt drives there is a possibility of slippage takes place between the belt and pulley which is cause driven pulley to rotate at lesser speed and consequently reduce the power transmission so sometimes it happens because of the a uh, less friction between the two surfaces and it will make uh, the um, slippage hence the belt drives are said to be not positive drive type and of power transmission system that's why we are not considering the belt drive as a positive power transmission system power transmission belts are generally made from the leather rubber canvas and balata material okay these are the different materials which are used to uh, create the belt types of belt drives there are two types of belt drives open belt drives and crossed belt drives okay there are two types what is open belt drive so open belt drive it is similarly what we have seen in the above diagram uh, in the open belt drive uh, the whatever the belt uh, which is uh, connected in here will it will start from a to d and it will uh, connecting the c b and again it is going to be converging the a so like that this belt drive is going to be having the continuous uh, closure which doesn't crossing each other okay in here the tight uh, slack side comes up uh, at the topper side and the tight side come at the bottom of this uh, arrangement okay in open belt drives two parallel shafts have to rotate in the same direction and one more thing is uh, in the open belt drives the shaft which rotates the first uh, whatever the shaft rotates in the clockwise direction then similarly the driven shaft is also follows the same direction if the first shaft rotates in anti clockwise direction then the driven shaft also follows the same thing so that is the one of the advantage of this order the open belt drive when the shafts are placed apart the lower side of the belt should be tight side and upper side must be the slack side okay just a minute so in the open bed drives you can see the diagram it will be like that a to b c so the sentence which we are discussed in here uh, okay when the upper side becomes the slack side it will be slacks and own weight and this increase the arc of contact which is the increase in capacity of driver 
the driven side this type of system is employed for where the center distance between the two pulleys is quite more so in here we are using this type of arrangement that is open belt drive type of arrangement only when the shafts distance are more okay it's merely in uh, floor mills if you see that uh, the distance between the motor and the whatever the driving shaft and driven shaft it is somewhat very distance so in that situation so we are using this type of open belt drives okay so in crossed belt drives uh, the uh, much diff uh, important difference is you can see the belt is uh, the belt is uh, is going to be uh, encircling this whatever the pulleys in crossed the directions okay you can see that the belt start from here it will be kind of start d and it will be c and it is d b and again a okay so like that it is going to be making the cross connection uh, so such type of belt uh, drives is called as a cross belt drives in here if the pulley rotates in clockwise direction the anti the whatever the another pulley which is connected with it it is uh, rotating in anti clockwise direction so that is the uh, major difference between open and uh, cross belt drives in the cross belt drives the two pulley shafts have to rotate in opposite direction at the function where the belt crosses it rubs against its uh, itself and wear off okay to avoid the excess wear the shaft must be placed at a maximum distance from each other to operate at a very low speed okay means in this this type of uh, uh, in this uh, whenever this uh, belts are going to be crossing it makes some wearing action so because of that it will get wear out so to avoid this we have to increase the size uh, the distance between uh, the centers from here from to here the distance should be made it larger to have the uh, to avoid that wearing phenomena in the belt drives so some of the definitions which you have to see in here it's very important as per the examination purpose definition slip in the belt drives it is the phenomenon of relative motion between the belt and the pulley due to the insufficient grip of friction between the pulley and the belt there are some relative motion between those two pulleys will be present this motion is called slip of belt okay so there is some relative uh, motion between belt and pulley surface is going to take place because of its grip and friction if it is insufficient then there is a slip phenomena is going to be takes place it is expressed in terms of uh, driver linear velocity creep in the belt drives the relative motion between the belt drives or driver and the driven pulley due to increase in length of belt as a belt is subjected to uh, alternate stretching and contraction is known as creep okay and this creep effect will reduce the speed ratio and hence power transmission the creep effect what happens uh, for a longer period of usage the whatever the belts are uh, um prone to contraction and uh, stretching so this results in creeping after a long time of usage so this is called as a creep velocity ratio in the belt drives so velocity ratio of the belt drives is defined as a ratio of speed of the driving pulley to the uh, speed of the driven pulley okay it's also similar similar in here as per we have discussed in the gear drives so let d1 and d2 be the diameter of the driven, driving and driven pulleys respectively and n1 and n2 be the speed of the revolutions per minute in the whatever the shafts if there is no relative slip between the pulley and the portion of the belt which are in contact with them the speed at the every point on the belt will be same therefore therefore the circumferential speed of the linear speed of uh, the circumferential speed uh, and the linear speed of driving and driven pulley of the belt drives are equal okay that is the equation we have given the linear speed of the belt which is equal to the circumferential speed of the driving pulley which is equal to the uh, circumferential speed of the driven pulley so it is nothing but pi d n1 is equal to pi d uh, sorry pi d1 n1 is equal to pi d2 n2 okay in here pi is going to be common term so you can cancel out the pi and you can take d1 and n1 is equal to d2 n2 similarly d1 n1 is equal to d2 n2 so if you take the velocity ratio is equal to n1 by n2 is equal to d2 by d1 this is similar to the gear drives which we have got in the uh, same thing in the gear drives okay so velocity ratio is nothing but the rpm of driving pulley to the rpm of the driven driven pulley so rpm is nothing but rotation per minute it is nothing but speed speed of driving pulley to that speed of driven pulley 
it's also equal to the diameter of the driving uh, driven pulley to the diameter of the driven, uh, driving pulley so this is the important equation uh, whenever you solve the problems it is very much required there so n1 by n2 is equal to d2 by d1 so one more equation power transmitted by the belt drives uh, so just explain the uh, what are the term the power transmitted which is equal to the tensions which are present in the belt drives that is t1 and t2 so T1 okay in the power transmission uh, the whatever the power transmission is mainly related to the tensions between the belt sides that is the tight side and the slack side so with respect to those things it is also depending upon the velocity of the uh, belt drives and uh, depending upon the, the time taken for to have that so power transmitted is equal to T1 minus T2 by uh, T2 into V divided by 16 to 1000 to convert it to a kilowatts. Okay. Next, uh, I think uh, this expression is uh, having the derivation. It is not required for you. So, we will just uh, skip this uh, term and we will move on to the uh, some of the theoretical part. Okay. I will explain those uh, things. Okay. Types of belts. So again we have discussed these types of belts. So there are two types of belts, belts of flat belt and V-belt. In the flat belt, uh, the belt uh, having endless loop uh, with a square cross section made up of canvas material. The belt run over the flat uh, pulleys and made the continuous loop by st uh, stitching, uh, pinion, uh, pinning the end portion of the belt. Means the flat belt has nothing but its cross section is uh, similarly equal to rectangle shape or square shape. Okay, such type of belts are called as a flat belts. Uh, that whatever the V belts, these belts having the trapezoidal cross section made up of rubber reinforced with the st uh, steel wire to achieve the strength. These belts run an V grooved pulley. Single belt, multiple belts uh, are employed for the power transmission. So in here it is uh, similar to the V shape type of belts it is mainly used in a uh, small type of power transmission such as um, uh, in the diesel uh, power plants uh, in diesel generators uh, then afterwards in the vehicles we are using this type of v-belts advantages of flat drives okay uh, in the flat belt drives it is good efficiency installation is very easy life of the flat belt is more in comparison with v-belt and system stable, uh, suitable for the condition where the center distance between the police is more the economical for power transmission these are the advantages of the flat belt drives if you go to the disadvantages it is not suitable for uh, small uh, center distance uh, maintaining exact velocity ratio is uh, difficult uh, disadvantages and creep slip uh, is the driving system causes loss of power transmission so there is a slip and creep will be there high power transmission is not possible in the flat belt drives advantages of v belt drives high power transmission capacity because v grooves uh, provide excellent grip functioning of the drive is very smooth drive is uh, very compact okay so we can have the advantages of v and slip in the drive is very negligible because the cross section area of is more in contact with the pulley uh, since it is uh, just fixed in the grooves of the pulley, so it is very difficult, very negligible amount of slip. The shaft axis can be in the horizontal, vertical, even in inclined, uh, whatever the thing, it can transmit in any direction. V belt drives are suppressed in, suppress the vibration, this vibration will be very less in the V belts. Disadvantages of V belt stress is it, uh, if the center distance between the shaft is too high, there is not, it is not suitable. Uh, uh, this, this type of drives are not free from creep, even in here also creeping takes place. Speed are limited and the pulley structure is more com uh, complicated than flat belt drives pulley. So the, you have to create the grooves in the pulley. So it's somewhat complicated compared to the flat belt drive belt drives. So with this uh, we have just completed uh, uh, this whatever the theoretical part of the uh, belt drives and in the next video we are going to discuss uh, regarding some of the formulas okay uh, important formulas of the belt drives to solve the problems okay so in the next video uh, it's very important uh, just uh, concentrate and uh, practice it
to understand better in a better way thank you